G'day guys. Um, today I want to show you how I ended up getting overdrive in sort of one hit with these two guys here, uh, the Honcho and my Tundra, um, purely by accident and turned out to be uh, very inexpensive, um, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, I've pieced the video together, a um, bit of previous footage and sort of uh, the result of the overdrive and you can clearly see I ended up with about 25% overdrive I think by calculation approximately, which I'm really happy with. So now uh, the trial walker, obviously that already comes with overdrive, but now both my rigs here have overdrive as well. So um, yeah, enjoy the video and um, I hope you you know, I hope you can do the same because uh, it worked out really well. Okay, cheers, guys. Enjoy. G'day, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Paul from Backyard Shed here again. Um, I recently got some uh, overdrive gears for the honcho. There she is there. Um, taking it apart at the moment. I thought maybe I should do a video on it. Uh, so these are the gears here. That's them there. That's all you get. I think it's crown and pinion gear, is that right? I'm not quite sure what they call them. But um, let's just swing this camera around. That's it, that's them. Overdrive axle gear. So it's a 27.8 tooth set for the Trail King and the SEX 10 too. So they're going on this little fella, the Honcho probably recognize him from previous videos. I've also got another set for this guy, the exact same ones. Now these have got the RZXYL um, Amazon axles on them. So I'm hoping that they fit them as well. I thought I'm just gonna get a second set just in case they do, because I'd like overdrive in all my trucks. Um, so yeah, got the other one. There's a second set there, exactly the same. Um, anyway, let's get them out of the packet. Oh, we can actually do an unboxing. But this is more like an unpackaging. Um, and we'll check them out. They're SSDs, so uh, from what I've heard, SSDs pretty good quality stuff. Now, these came in at about $42 um, from 110 Crawlers over in Western Australia. Now, $45, something like that. Now, I thought that was a great price considering I've been quoted from Oz RC up North Brisbane area or Brisbane area um, about $75. Now, these look, these look pretty nice, if I may say so myself. Um, beautifully machined. So, they're not a cheap item, but let's face it, we love overdrive. Um, so... We're going to throw them in. Might as well undo this panard link while we're at it. So, yeah, I'd say, look, I'd suggest just basically take everything off. Then the axle is free. Nothing going to nothing gonna get in your way. Get the rig out of the way. So there we have it. This one's still in good nick because I got this one brand new when I snapped one of these bits off. Um, just unlucky actually. <clears throat> but I wouldn't say I've made a mistake. I was just a bit unlucky when I broke that off. So we undo these four at the back to get inside. Um, this will pop out. And then we'll, we'll see what else we've got to take out. But basically the centerpiece comes out as well. Okay. Last one out. You can take the uh, cover off. Whoa, got a bit of water in there. Did a bit few water crossings over the weekend, and um, while we're at it, stand thought. Anyway, let's get these out. Get the bearing out first. Well, hold on, it's going to come out anyway. Well, work. Slippery, so there we go. Bit 
spear should come off there, that one comes off. I just use paper towel to put most of my stuff on and also clean a lot of the grease off, otherwise um, you just go through so much, um, you know, so many rags and things. So. I might have to clean this up because I don't know how this works. Okay, so there's something not right here. Um, obviously, there's another part needed. These must be for the 10.2 kit version, I get the feeling. And these are the ready to roll version. And as you can see, that is one piece. There's no separating that centerpiece, there's no bolts through it like there is this one so I obviously need a different uh, shaft piece through the middle there for this to bolt onto so then my axles to slot into so that is something I'll have to look into and um, continue this video on after that okay we'll be back soon okay <coughs> G'day guys, Backyard Shed RCE. Um, I had overdrive gears ordered and they did come in. They're over here. That is them there. Um, was keen to put them in but didn't realise you need the lock, locker centre that those six bolts go in. So I was a bit disappointed. So I thought, okay, I'm going to order those. Um, but do I need two? One for this one that's got the uh, RZXYL Amazon axles. These ones here. I thought if I'm going to order, I needed to know if they were basically the same as the Honcho's AR44 axles. Um, turns out they are. That's these ones here. So what I've done is I've swapped them over because the ones in these axles, these are the Amazon axles, are, oh, what was it? I think it was 24 tooth, whereas that one's a 30 tooth. So I thought, well, that's going to give me overdrive because I've got, it's going to be a lot faster in the front on this one. So I've swapped them over. They, they both fit. Everything else is original in here. The axles use the same bearings. All I did was change the center and the, uh, so the crown and pinion gear I changed. They're both exactly the same, fit all the bearings, everything. So I've put them, on, put them in, I've set up some tape just to show you um, the difference. So hopefully this shows you. So here we go, I'll accelerate and you'll see them going around and you'll see that the front is a fair bit quicker than the back. Faster. and yet they both stop in the same spot <laughs> um, so there you go you could see that the front was a lot faster um, so I'm stoked with that so what I'm thinking of doing with this one is taking that gear out of the back, putting it into the front one over here, and putting that slower gear into the back, and that's going to give me overdrive in the um, the Tundra Truggy as well. Um, and then I don't know, maybe I'll order the other parts anyway and actually do it properly later. Or I can just leave it um, and I'll have to sell on those other gears but um, yeah so as you can see it's it's done the job um, it's about nine o'clock at night now so I won't be going out to test it tonight but definitely get out in the next couple of days and test it out um, other than that 
yeah she's all good let's do it one more time so you get another look at it i think if the faster you go the better you see it so i'll pick up the pace again even there you can see that's quite considerably quicker i don't know what the uh percentage would be but i reckon it's probably 20 percent something like that might be a way of working it out there you go clearly see that All good. Okay, guys. How'd you go with that? That might work out for you guys if you've bought sort of uh, other axles on on uh, or Amazon or, or wherever else, you know. I never knew what the tooth count was for the uh, RZXYL axles. But uh, yeah, got dead lucky there and it's given me a good percentage overdrive. So um, maybe you can do something similar in your backyard shed. All right, till next time, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like what you're what you're getting. And um, yeah, see you next time. Cheers.